Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> Bear, it's Mr. Rabbit. Bye, sorters. <laughs> Doesn't he have a nice way off the public, Mr. Rabbit? <laughs> and you know, in the bakery business, very important to have a nice way with public. God knows I've tried, but I honestly can't hold a candle to Bert. Although I'd certainly like to. <laughs> I was just telling Mr. Rabbit here about the way you have with the public, Bert. Hi, Marion. It's one of the reasons we're so successful. <laughs> you see the way he is there, Mr. Rabbit? Well, that's the way he is all the time. <laughs> Not like me. Why, my moods tend to vacillate from day to day. I'm up, I'm down, I'm all around. It's just, it's just my way, but, but not our bird. No, no. He's down. I mean, he is really, really down. All the time. Which is, which is fine, I suppose. Except for the fact, of course, that I'm bloody sick of it. <laughs> Well, I can't fake a smile, Marion. Oh, Bert, I don't expect a, sm a smile. Oh, my, I'd fall over in a fight. Oh, no, no, no. I don't expect, I don't, Mr. Roberts, I don't expect a smile, you know. I'm not asking him to go from negative to positive. I settle for neutral. I think your brain has settled for neutral, Marion. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's not our Bert talking. Where does that come from, Bert? Well, you have, you have nothing to complain about this week. Did you not tell Mr. Roberts about our visitor, Marion? Oh, yes, I, I forgot. My mother's visiting us <laughs> all the way from the other side. Aye, and she's still no on my side. <laughs> now, Bert, that is a big, fat lie. My mother is bent over backwards for you. Well, that's true, Mr. Roberts. And it's no a pretty sight. <laughs> Bert, my mother hardly ever comes to visit us. And whenever she does, she's more than willing to meet you halfway. Right then, Marion. Tell her to go back halfway and wait for me. <laughs> oh, Bert, I just can't live like this. Any more, I mean, you don't want me to ring her up. You don't like me to write her letters and you never, ever, ever, not even once, ever want her to visit us. <laughs> well, she's part of my life, Bert. And she's welcome. She's welcome and bloody welcome in my home. Is she welcome in your home, Bert? Because I'll tell you one thing, you little jerk. She's welcome in my home. Well, she is welcome in my home, Marion, but she's no welcome in my bed. <laughs> Excuse us, Mr. Roberts. It seems that our Bert here is intent on taking this discussion outside the realm of good taste. <laughs> You'd be kind enough to let yourself out. And thanks for popping in and cheerio. As for you, I'm Marion, I'm saying I should be back in my own bed. And where, tell me, where is my dear little mother supposed to sleep? On the couch, Marion, as I have all week. <laughs> oh, but she is not a sawed-off, snivelling little twerp like you, Ben. She's too tall for the couch. Well then, Marion, tell her to bend over backwards. <laughs> Well, you do. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>